Hello everybody, welcome to this channel. I am Payman Hansari. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a split data operator. A split data operator is an operator to split a data set into several subsets based on specified relative sizes. It splits data based on the number of rows, not columns, which means that the number of columns are the same for each subset. The input is the data set and the output is the subsets of the data. The sum of all partition is the same as the original data set. For this purpose, I use Iris data set. Let's bring the data set into the process panel simply by grabbing and dragging it into the process panel. Let's take a look at the data set first. As you see, we have 150 examples and five regular attributes. Now we use a split data operator to split data into two subsets. Let's find it. Bring it into the process panel, connect it to the retrieve operator and configure it. For the partition, click on edit enumeration. This is where you can add as many partition as you want by using add entry and specify the portion of the original data that you want to be there. For example, for the first partition, I want to have 70% of the data and I add another entry and that is 30%. Note that the sum of this ratio should be equal one. Then OK. For the sampling type, we have different options to sample the data from the original data set. For the linear sampling, it divides the data into subsets without changing the order of the data. Shuffled sampling, it shuffled the data and then split the data based on the shuffled data. For stratified, it is the same as shuffled, but the distribution of the class of data stays the same for each subset as the original data set. And finally, automatic is the same as stratified if the target variable is categorical, otherwise it is shuffled sample. Let's choose automatic. You can check the local random seed if the sampling type is stratified or shuffled to produce the same data set regardless of how many times you run the process. And local random set could be any number that you want. Let's take a look at the output, connect it to the output, and run the process. As you can see, first data set, I have 45 example with five regular attributes. The second subset, I have 105 example with five regular attributes. 